right, here's the thing. We have to talk about the three biggest mistakes I've made as an artist in my first year of business. As I've talked about in other videos, it's inevitable to make mistakes, especially when you're trying to start a business, okay? We're normalizing the fact that we can make mistakes, failures happen, it's okay. But I'm gonna talk and share with you my three biggest mistakes in my first year of business. So maybe, just maybe, you can avoid these mistakes or not make them as big as I made them. All right, so the first mistake that I've made as an artist is I spent way too much time marketing my art and not enough time actually making art. So I painted my entire portfolio at the beginning of this year. That consisted of about 25, 30 paintings. And I then got really, really caught up in marketing, trying to sell those paintings over the course of like six months or so. In that time period, I basically didn't really paint at all. Like my studio time went from like 30 hours a week to maybe four, three or four hours a week if I could squeeze it in. And I think that's a huge mistake. Yes, it's important to market. You kind of have to market in order to sell your paintings so that people see your artwork. And I got so caught up in the marketing in creating social media content, in writing emails, in trying to post YouTube videos, anything I could possibly do to try to sell these paintings, I was doing to the max. But the thing is, there has to be a balance between studio time and marketing time. And yes, I do think there are periods of more creative studio time and less marketing time, or there's times of really pushing your latest series and less studio time. But the mistake I made is I did all marketing, like 95% marketing, 5% studio time. And I think that really affected me creatively. I put so much stock in marketing and was so disappointed by not selling because I marketed so much that I really burned myself out. Because I didn't balance creating with selling and marketing, I really, really hit a wall. And that's why I think it's really important to make sure that you're balancing out studio time, creativity time with marketing. And the other thing I noticed with that is that when I did start to paint again, my skills felt really rusty. I didn't even know what I wanted to paint. I couldn't remember what colors I liked to use because I hadn't been spending any time in the studio. I really forgot like kind of how to paint <laughs> in a way like my I had to rebuild my skills a lot. So spend time in your studio balance studio time and marketing. Both are important, okay? We have to do both. And I'm working on that myself. So the second mistake that I made as an artist in my first year of business is that I put way too much stock in what others thought of my artwork or and or what mentors told me about my artwork. The big lesson in here is you have to listen to yourself, your gut, your creative spirit, your marketing spirit. All of those things are so much more important than what anyone else has to say. If and when you start your business, everyone's going to have an opinion of it. I swear to you, literally you tell one person you have an art business, they're going to say, you should paint this. You should paint that. Oh, have you gone to this market? Have you sold at this show? What about this gallery? I know this friend that does this. You got to just let that stuff run off of you because if you don't prioritize your own instincts and your own gut about your artwork and your selling techniques, you'll get lost. You'll get so lost. I got so lost in what others were telling me I should do with my business. I especially put too much stock in what mentors thought I should do with my business. I made a pretty big mistake of signing up for a couple of programs all at once about how to market my art. And that's a good thing. I think it is important to invest in material that teaches you how to market because I had no idea how to market my art. So I did want information about how to market. Like, how do you write a good email? How do you market your artwork? And that information is so important. But what I did on top of that is I let mentors decide for me where I should market and how I should market. And I really gave up a lot of who I am and my authenticity and my energy in trying to market in ways that weren't aligned with who I am. And I'm still working on that. I'm still trying to figure out ways to market that are authentic to me. And the mistake was giving away my authenticity and my energy to what mentors told me I should do. I listened to their advice over my own instincts and that really fucked me <laughs> in a lot of ways. I got so burnt out and exhausted because I was trying to listen to their advice so intensely that I wouldn't do what I need to do. I would just do what I thought they wanted me to do. And what I learned in that is that a lot of times they're teaching what worked for them 
And we as business owners have to figure out what works for us. And that path is super hard and scary because it's uncharted. I thought it would be easier to just follow the path that other successful people have done. And yes, there is some wisdom in following other successful people. But if you try to take their exact path every step of the way, you're gonna be worn out because your journey is different than their journey. Giving all of your power to a mentor really does a disservice to your own journey. And that's what I did. I burned myself out week after week after week trying to do what worked for them. So that was a big mistake and I'm still recovering from that one. <laughs> I'm still trying to re-navigate and get back on course to figure out what works for me. Long story short, the lesson in this is listen to yourself. Yes, take a little bit of advice here, a little bit of, of advice there about how to market and maybe some guidance on your journey, but make sure that when you are taking advice from mentors, you're not giving all of your power to them. And you're really making sure that the steps you're taking are steps you want to be taking, not just steps you think you should be taking. That one was kind of convoluted, but the third, <laughs> the third mistake that I made as an artist is I invested way too much money, way too fast. So as I mentioned, I joined a couple of programs right off the bat about how to market my artwork. And there are tons of coaches and mentors out there with programs that say they will help you become an artist and sell your artwork for thousands every month. And I spent too much money investing in those programs all at one time. And I didn't take enough time to look at my options and figure out which mentor or coach or program fit me and who I am. I just kind of bought into the first couple of programs I saw just because I was so excited and maybe a little bit desperate to sell my artwork very fast. That's kind of where it's easy to get tripped up is because they promise you that you're gonna sell your art because of their program very fast. Like you're gonna make so much money as soon as you join the program, just join it and we'll teach you how step-by-step. Step. You'll be a full-time artist before you know it. And before I knew it, I was in thousands of dollars in, in debt. <laughs> So yes, I joined these programs. Yes, I did learn something from each of these programs, but at the end of the day, I spent way too much money on stuff that I probably could have figured out on my own if I had just slowed down and just done some research, found some books at the library. But because I was desperate, I spent way too much money way too fast. So yes, I think it's important to invest in a mentor or a coach or a program, but take your time figuring out what that program is. Don't just dive straight in and spend a ton of money because they're promising you something that takes more time. And that's what I did. So yeah, <laughs> Woo, my poor credit cards, we're still recovering from that. And that's okay because lesson learned. I'm all right, guys, don't worry. Um, I do have a lot of support and I am digging myself out of a little bit of a financial hole but please learn from me about those programs. Like be very, very cautious when you do join a program like that. When you do get offered to get on a sales call with a coach or mentor, just be ready to ask a lot of questions and make sure, please make sure it is a coach that is similar to you and that feels authentic to you and that feels like someone who walks a similar path as the as the path that you would like to walk on. Don't do what I do and just jump into whatever program seems like it's gonna bring you success quickly because to be honest, success comes with consistency and hard work, following your gut and your instinct and it always takes time is what I'm learning. It takes time. It doesn't happen right away. No matter what anyone tells you, we have to slowly build our businesses, our careers, our artwork, our portfolio. It takes time. And I had to learn that the hard way. I'm still learning that. I, as much as I would like to be a full-time artist right this second, I know it takes time and I'm on the journey and that journey takes time and I have to build it from where I am and not buy into what someone is trying to sell me. Cause they're always trying to sell you something and sometimes it is worth it. And sometimes it just puts you in a little bit of debt. Anyway, I hope you learned something from my three biggest mistakes as an artist so far. Like I said, I am normalizing the fact that mistakes and failures happen when you're trying to build a business. Failures and mistakes happen in general in life, but especially when you're trying to become an artist slash an entrepreneur, these mistakes are inevitable. You'll probably make mistakes along the way as well. So try to avoid these. And if you do make these mistakes, maybe just little less than I did. <laughs> if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. I do have my website down below with all my original art and prints. It's carlyjeanart.com. Please let me know if this video helped you in the comments down below. I always love to hear from other artists and like what you're going through. So let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.